Hello everyone, welcome back to the Prodigy Master. So, today should be someday at the beginning of October. Um, today's actual day is September 12th. But, um, I decided that since I got saved and became a follower of Christ officially, um, around the end of September, beginning of October, I would make this video my testimony on how that exactly happened um, and have it be posted at the beginning of October because I'm not really exactly sure. All I know is that it happened at the beginning or the end of September, beginning of October. But basically, all my life while I was growing up, I would go to church do all that. I was raised Catholic. Um, I wasn't really into any of uh, going to church. I didn't really like it. Um, I wasn't into doing any like the re religious stuff. N none of that stuff. Um, then in 2019, um, we started, ended up going to a church called Grace Point. I really liked that church. Um, but unfortunately, 2019 was the last time I did go to church, and it's 2022, you know. Um, hopefully I get to go back. I don't know when, though. Um, but I ended up liking that church a lot. It was different from what I was used to. It was, there was just something about it that I really liked. Um, then we stopped going to church. Um, throughout my life, I've never really given any thought to God, didn't really think about him much other than like at certain times, you know, um, and then at, in like August of 2019, I ended up downloading, um, TikTok just to see what it was about and, um, I ended up seeing a video in January of 2020 um, about like Jesus being the only way to heaven and all that and I agreed with that I liked it I think I saved the sound I don't remember um, and I'm pretty sure that was the first time uh, God was like actually trying to get me to go to him something like that and then around July August of 2020 I started seeing a ton of Christian videos on my for you page about the end times and all that stuff and how Jesus was going to be returning soon and I was I don't really know how to put it but I agreed with all that even though I didn't like really ever read my Bible or anything like that. Um, and then in on August 1st, uh, my dad had, I think, picked me and my brother up for my brother's birthday and started talking to us about that kind of stuff. And that's when I realized that, oh, this is actually happening. And then after that, I started um, following God or trying to. And then I became saved end of September, beginning of October. And since then, I've been, you know, telling everyone about the end times and how Jesus is supposed to return soon, but no one really takes me seriously, you know. Which, I probably would have been the same way. You know, I before getting saved, I thought, oh, I'll just live out my life, and then before I die, I'll just ask God for forgiveness, and that be that, so I can go to heaven. That was the wrong kind of mindset. That was, that's the mindset that's gonna send you to hell, for sure. 
because we're not promised tomorrow. I could have been taken and then I would have been in hell, you know? But I'm glad things ended up happening the way they did. Because if they didn't, then I probably would still be in the same situation right now. Giving your life to God is the best thing you could ever do. It is 100% life-changing. You would never be the same ever again if you truly gave your life to Christ. I know um, Romans 10, 9 through 10 says, if you confess with your mouth that um, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God rose him from the dead, here, where is it? If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe with your heart that God has risen him from the dead, you shall be saved. For it is with the heart that we are, um, I'm sorry, KJV is definitely difficult to read. Okay, so if you for, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with the heart and is justified, and one confesses with the mouth and is saved. So, you know, that's really all it takes. It's just faith. You have to actually believe. Because you can claim to be a believer but you're not a believer. If you're a believer, you live that. You don't just say it, you know? Belief shows through our lifestyle. But I hope anyone that sees this decides that it would be better for them to, you know, be with Christ instead of not be with Christ because it, it's just not worth not being with him. He is, he's the savior of the world, and most proclaiming Christians are not following him, and it's not good. They are lukewarm. They're more for the world and what the world has to offer than they are for God and what he has to offer, which is eternal. Everything of this life is temporary. It's not eternal. It's not going to last. Everything that God gives us will last. Of course, if it's of this world, it's not exactly going to last, but, you know, it will last for eternity. He can give us eternal life, but most proclaiming Christians don't believe in that. They trust more in their works than in Jesus as the only reason that they get eternal life and they get to enter heaven in the first place. But that's my testimony. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to like and subscribe. I don't know if I'll be making many more videos for this channel as, um, you know, at the end of September, the last Shemitah week, Daniel's 70th week, which is the tribulation, should begin September 26th, from what I've been hearing. Lots of people have been doing a lot of research and all that. They've done the research, they know what they're talking about. I have not done the research, I'm just going off of what they're saying. So, who knows, maybe I'll be here for when this video is released, maybe I won't be. I have no idea. But, if I'm not, okay, then I'm in heaven, enjoying myself. If I am, well then, maybe the tribulation has started. 
and if the tribulation has started, I'm sure I will make a video on that and post it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, leave a like. If you're new, consider subscribing, and I will see you guys later.